Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is, well, it's a beautiful day. Well, it was a beautiful day. Well, yes. the weather forecast was a beautiful day. And then they changed their weather forecast. <laughs> That's right. You know? yeah. uh, they changed it overnight. Instead of a beautiful day, they said it'd be raining this morning. But we're inside, inside the Creation Museum. And I always like to spend a little while just talking about nothing as the notifications <laughs> go out and uh, people find out that we're online. Uh, we actually want to show you, well, you'll be surprised, a massive graffiti wall That's right. here at the Creation Museum. You're going to be amazed at this. If you want to see the graffiti at the Creation Museum, keep tuned here. Okay, well, we've already got a lot of people on board. There we are. So we're actually, well, we were doing something uh, here at the Creation Museum and somebody turns off the lights on us. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we're actually going to be opening a whole new series of exhibits at the Creation Museum beginning in the middle of uh, November. That's right. And I have Alan with me. Alan's our lead production designer. Yes. We have our team that, mm -hmm. well, they're involved in doing the exhibits for the Ark and for the Creation Museum. We want to give you a sneak preview here. So we're going to come in here. I mean, you, you might think, is sure this is going to be open mid-November? Well, actually, a lot of the, uh, the, the signage and the actual exhibits themselves are being done off-site. This That's is right. all the construction work. Mm -hmm. And uh, in here, actually, Alan, this is going to be a big screen, isn't it? Yes, it is. This will be our intro video room. So the intro first thing room, guests will see is a video. Screen. Okay, so mm -hmm. people will come in here. Now, this replaces what we call the starting points room, the biblical authority room, to help people understand there are two different foundations, God's yep. Word, man's Word. Yeah. And then we're going to go through the biblical authority room. We totally upgraded it. That's right. And so we're going to go through biblical history, basically. Yeah. And yep. help people uh, see biblical history and some of the archaeological evidence mm -hmm. and so on, help them understand the Bible really is God's Word. So, Alan, how about as we walk along here, I mean, there's all sorts of construction going behind the curtains. This is how people walk through to get to the... Uh, the walkthrough in the museum. Right That's there. right. So what we're going through right now, after guests go through that intro video, they'll go through a series of starting points exhibits. That's this room back here. And then they'll be transitioning into this room. It's what we're calling biblical authority. So well, well, let's give people just a little sneak preview. Can we jump in here? Of course. Yeah. Let's, let's yep. come in here. So this is walking and, backwards uh, into the starting points yes. exhibits. <laughs> so the starting points room, we just walked backwards in it. But I wanted to show people uh, these columns here and this entrance because this is the sort of thing they're going to see this will be uh, what they'll see here. as they enter biblical authority so really an impressive transition into the next exhibit space it's incredible what you guys do and this has all been done internally that's right so this yeah. is going to be the big entrance to the biblical authority room from the starting points room so i see a number of people there now i'm going to give you a little sneak preview here uh, we do have some artists working here, but we'll sneak down the side here behind the curtain and just give you a little peek at some of the stuff that's going on here. We are so blessed with a team of incredible artists and painters. They are just doing an incredible job. So this is all part of the biblical authority room. That's right. And so uh, we'll come down here a bit further and we'll show you some more. We'll Sneak preview here. So guests in this space will be walking from culture to culture, from biblical times. Culture to culture. So it, it's going to be Egyptian? That, this was Egyptian back here. This, I believe, is Greco-Roman. So okay. we'll be going from the Old Testament to the New Testament, meeting biblical characters along the way, learning how the Bible has been victorious throughout, throughout time. What sort of biblical characters are you going to meet? We're going to meet, We're going to meet Joseph, Joseph, Rahab, David... Hezekiah, Daniel, and then Jesus. It's going to be incredible. And we, we can have a bit of a sneak look in here. And, uh, of course, again, as I said, many people will think, wow, you're going to have that ready by mid-November? Yes, because yeah. all the exhibits, the signage, and so on are being done off-site. That's right. And they just come in and install them here. They're just really finishing up their construction. Actually, up above... There's, it's going to be like you're looking up at the sky. You'll actually think you're looking up at the sky. So they've just uh, installed this, but there's a lot of work to do on that yet. Yeah, that dome has been a huge feat for us, and it's, um, the team has come together and done an incredible job. It was put in multiple pieces. Now it's all seen together, so we'll be shining lights on it. It'll look like skylight, create a really 
uh, interesting atmosphere in this whole space. And then we can see what's happening here. Uh, coming into here, there'll be different ceiling uh, panels and styles throughout these different biblical cultures. So as guests move through here, they'll be moving from culture to culture. And this is just one of the many cultures guests will get to see unique architectural styles. So we're helping people understand the Bible's history is true. That's right. And we're following through that Bible's history. And we're also uh, showing people archaeological evidence of our evidence to confirm that the Bible's history is true. Yeah. And after we go through the biblical authority room and through all those different cultures and so on and biblical history and uh, major events in biblical history and people, we then come into, what, what do we call this whole room here? So this is what we're calling the, the relevance of Genesis space. This is the last major portion of the museum upgrade. And it's really the note we want to leave people on after they've seen uh, the starting points, uh, learning about different worldviews they've gone through to see biblical history and how the Bible has been victorious. This comes to modern day times. And so this space, we themed it to look like a reclaimed industrial building that was originally from the turn of the century. Uh, for a time, it had been left to be abandoned, but now someone is coming in and they're reclaiming a strong foundation. So we see a foundation stone here. The idea, the backstory is that someone is coming in and is reclaiming this space, and the symbolism that we're setting up is just as you can reclaim the foundation of a building, we're calling people to reclaim the, the foundation of the book of Genesis in their lives. Now, this whole area is really based on my book, The Lie. That's right. And it's really the relevance message that built answers in Genesis. In yes. That sense. It's our core message. Mm -hmm. And we have some other incredible things. So this is an old industrial building, so you can see the brick and so on. And it, it's going to be an artist who lives in here That's who's right. reclaiming this industrial building. So look at the, uh, well, we call it graffiti, but is that really Street graffiti? art murals is kind of the way we like to look oh, at street it. Street art mural, okay. Graffiti is sometimes unwanted. These are wanted, desirable pieces. So people are getting a, a sneak preview here. This is your, the first look we've actually given you publicly of the street art murals here. And there's another one being done. You can see the artist doing it on the wall there right now. It's fascinating just to watch them doing that. So these will allow guests to see this, this person, this, uh, this artist who's reclaiming this space. He's celebrating his worldview through art. So in this piece on the left here, the idea is that uh, on the bottom, on this foundation stone, the word Genesis is there. And from that foundation, the book of Genesis comes all the adventure, the, ma the majesty of the Bible. So they'll see different biblical characters moving up the mural. We'll see Adam and Eve. We'll see Joseph and Noah and Moses. It all culminates in Jesus and the salvation he brings. So that's, that's really the essence of that's this mural here. That's going to be quite an quite a incredible piece of artwork. And this yeah. one over here on this side? This one over here. This is really cool. So we see this big woman's face over here. This is Lady Wisdom. So Proverbs chapter 8 depicts the Lord's wisdom that was with him in creation as this woman, Lady Wisdom. And she's holding out this stone here with the word Bereshit, Hebrew for, for how, what we get Genesis from. And so she's holding out these themes that are depicted on top of this stone that have their origin in Genesis that have so much relevance in our lives today. So the origin of death, we learn from Genesis. Stewardship on this earth, justice, faithfulness in marriage, the fact that every life is made in God's image, all these themes, they begin in Genesis, and they're relevant for our lives today. So, so that actually, in, in a sense, even deals with the uh, marriage issue, the gay marriage issue. It does. The abortion issue, the, why there's death and suffering, and so on. It's, it's like Lady Wisdom is holding out God's way. It's an invitation for the church and for the world to see God's good way. So it's a, it's a street art mural representing right. that. And, of course, the message will be very clear in here done in all sorts of ways through signage, right. video, yeah. video teaching, yep. mm -hmm. uh, even those castle diagrams, those They'll be famous a part castle here. diagrams yeah, will yes. be a part of what goes on yes. in here. Someone said, wow, look at the artistry, very creative, looking forward to seeing this. And these windows over here, we put these windows in behind the curtain here. That's right. I mean, guests may not appreciate all that's gone in here. These windows were not here when we started. So we actually had to cut holes in the walls. These windows were put in. And we really wanted the natural sunlight to shine in, to illuminate these street art murals. So they're going to be a really special piece here as and, well. And you sort of, they're testing here ways in which they can make it look like 
an old industrial building. That's so right. You take these beautiful windows we put in, <laughs> yeah. and then you mess them all up like this. That's right. These are some earlier tests. We've we've solidified what that's going to be like now. But yeah, so there'll be frames put up here with, with this kind of gunk here, but we'll still let that sunlight come in. And then if you notice the floor, the attention to detail is incredible. If you notice the floor, they put this beautiful wood floor in, and then yes. they put marks all over it and put the, other bits and pieces in as if it's been repaired. And This was a feat. We, just a shout out to an incredible volunteer. Ron Diem came. He installed this floor. It looked brand new. And then he left. God bless him. The next week we came in here and distressed it, aged it, put stuff all over it so it looks like a 100-year-old floor. It looks like a 100-year-old floor now and it looks like it's all patched up and yeah. uh, made all sorts of markings on it. And do you people have fun in destroying we things do. like that? <laughs> yes, we do. It's great. Yeah, we had all kinds of tools were thrown at the floor. It was great. So this is our temporary sort of walkthrough right now until yes, people get to the, major, uh, to the major part of the museum, which is the walk through the seven seas. Yeah. And, of course, you're actually doing up those seven seas somewhat too, aren't we're you? We're redoing that as well. That's right, yeah. yeah. And uh, so it, We can pass through here. We can pass through here. Yep. Uh -huh. We've got our hard hats on. Just watch where you're going here. So maybe you could explain what's happening Absolutely. Here. So we're still in the relevance of Genesis space here. This... Uh, cove right here will be kind of the culminating moment of the whole museum upgrade. Guests will have walked past the two street art murals that we just looked at, but when they get here, we're going to have an animation projected on that brick wall. It'll look similar to that street art style, but it's going to be animated moving, so it's like a moving street art. And it's in this place that we're going to be talking about the fact that there can't be death before sin, that vital truth that can be a real holdup for a lot of believers. How can we fit death and sin and old earth, young earth? So we'll, we'll be talking about that here, and we'll really set up guests for what they're about to experience as they enter the Garden of Eden. So this is going to be a really nice culmination to not just relevance to Genesis, but the whole museum upgrade. That's going to be phenomenal. <laughs> Somebody said here, whoever came up with the designs like that has got to be a genius. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole team. It's a teamwork. God, good. That's right. a, God has brought a number of people together, uh, Alan and many yes. others that are here. We'll yes. go back and show them the, the murals again because people just love those murals. Great. Again. I can tell they're going to be a hit when they're finished and when people come in and see them. They're going to be amazed at the rest of this. Actually, up on this sort of loft area yeah. here, you've got all sorts of props that are going up there. This is going to be exciting. So we've talked a little bit about this person who's renovating this space. We'll see his living area up here. We're going to, we've already been collecting props to fill up this area. And we'll see embodied in that scene the ideas that guests are learning down here. They're embodied in his life. So that's going to be really, really fun. I'm also amazed at how... You did all the brickwork in here, and the brick looks so real. It's you're right. They're they're not real bricks. They're brick panels. Um, it's, it and you amazing. can buy brick panels, and people use them in their homes. But you guys go further than that. You get the best brick panels you can. Then you go over them, and you repaint. And That's right. Do all sorts of things to make them look really real. And our our team. They were so incredible. This was a huge feat, and they did it. So shout right, out to it, our this team. This wall's finished, right? Well. It is, and you can kind of see what we tried to show here was that these are older bricks. This is crumbled away, and then new bricks have gone in here. So it's this whole idea of reclaiming uh, a strong foundation. And so that was done with brick panels, and you wouldn't even know it because that looks so real. That's right. That's right. So they must, I mean, they spend hours doing this. Oh, yes, it was weeks, yeah. I mean, Doug Henderson, Chris Osborne, their teams, they were amazing in here. So let's give you a look at these beautiful murals again, and you can see the artists actually working on the murals. And they're both going to have great messages and different messages once, yes. it's, once it's all finished. Oh, yeah. Yeah, something special about depicting these ideas artistically is it just invites people to take a moment and reflect and meditate on God's truth and discover what God's Word says. I think people are just going to stand here and look at all this artwork and as they understand what it's saying, uh, it's, it's going to really impact people. Well, both these murals here. I, th I think we're going to have a problem in here. I think people are going to stop here and just, <laughs> just look at these murals and meditate yes. on that. And this one here, as they go through depicting uh, the, all these famous characters and leading up to, to Christ, of course, yeah. uh, people will be talking about that. Yeah. So to do these murals, so somebody designs them, each of these was quite a process. The, the design process, we went through multiple designers and artists 
taking stabs, uh, doing concept art, um, different versions. We knew the idea we wanted to embody in these, but there's a lot of ways you could go about that. So a lot of different sketches, uh, renderings were done. We would, out of many, choose one and then dive into that one deeper and deeper. Um, it was a combination of traditional and digital art that led to our ultimate design. And now we're using a projector in the case of this mural to take what was done digitally, blow it up to the appropriate scale, and now that's used as a base that the artist can use to paint from. But you did this one differently, right? This one was different in that we didn't use a pr projector. The wall is so large, it would have been hard to do. So this, was, this wall was gridded off by the artist and then gone from there. You can see here, um, these are prints of what the final product will look like. And uh, you can see different paint colors were pulled off of this for the artist to use. So this is what they work from. That's right. Give people an idea. They could give me that, and I'll tell you, it's not going to turn <laughs> out like that. <laughs> if I did it, it would be called graffiti. <laughs> Well, I think people uh, enjoy getting that uh, sneak preview of all these. It's going to be a phenomenal space, and it's, it's taken you know, the old exhibits that we had. We took them all out, Yes. and we're redoing this. Actually, I've got a suggestion for people. So this is going to open mid-November, but the day after Thanksgiving, November 29, through to December 30, our Christmas programs. So we have all the spectacular lights here for Christmas, mm. the garden of lights, the live nativity, and down at the Ark, spectacular lights, spectacular programs inside the ANSYS Center, uh, a, a massive 70 foot by 22 foot LED screen animation yeah. uh, depicting uh, mm -hmm. the message of the baby in a manger and concerts and so on. We do all sorts of different foods here. So I'm going to suggest to people, because we have a, a special deal for people, they can come in after five o'clock on any of those days, uh, come into the grounds at the Ark of the Creation Museum for free. You don't have to pay for parking. And then we have uh, special ticket prices to get mm. into the museum proper or into the Ark proper. But they can come to the grounds to see all the lights. But that way, they could come and do the Christmas program and come into the museum and see all these new exhibits. So there's an idea for people. So That'd be great. they can go to our websites of arkencounter.com, creationmuseum.org, you can see all the information there about the Christmas time and Christmas town uh, programs. But come in, and that way this will be open. That's right. Uh, open mid-November, and our Christmas programs start November 29. So plan to come to the Christmas programs and to go through the museum and also go through the Ark, too, uh, while they're in the area. So there we are. We'll give you one more look at these. We'll sort of walk around a little bit here, give you a sneak look back at some of the other uh, things that are going on, and then... Uh, we will uh, go from there. You know how the lights flickered before? And I just got a notification on my phone that we've got no power at our house. How about oh, that? wow. We seem wow. to have power here, so. Yes. Huh. There must wow. be some problem in the area. That is amazing. I just love watching these artists work. We are blessed with such incredible artists and fabricators. God is so kind to give us so many faithful, incredible workers. And the castle diagrams that I do that are in the book The Lie and I use in my talks yes. that show the foundational battle, they're going to be on the other side. They're, they're going to be over here in the form of an arcade game. It's going to be a really fun take on these classic illustrations, castle diagrams. So yeah, our AV team, our fabrication team are hard at work on that exhibit. Uh, we're going to So it's going to be like, like an arcade game. That's right, yeah. So it'll be totally at home in this space. as It's a renovated space. It's a relevant take on it. It'll be a lot of fun and will convey your classic message so this is you know we actually said to the artists you go ahead <laughs> take this message yes and do it in a way that'll reach today's world right and that's what you've done that's I mean, what this done. is this is going to be so neat it's so different yeah Pe people are going to be amazed it is just so different to what was what was here before and it's it's a unique approach because we want to reach this contemporary culture that's and right so uh, we've um, got all these interesting, interesting uh, exhibits. So somebody here said their birthday is November 25th and they're going to come after the 29th. They are a good birthday present for you. Cool. Uh, so somebody said here, I think the next 
attraction for the ministry should be a replica of the Tower of Babel. Well, <laughs> we want to do that down at the Ark, actually. Yes. And um, I'll let everyone know. We're actually, you know what we're doing down at the Ark? Sort of like, nobody knows this yet. It's not even public yet. But actually, we have someone working with us. We're going to have a um, virtual reality experience where they put on glasses and... Mm -hmm can go back to seeing Noah and building the ark. Anyway, we'll tell you more about that yeah. next year sometime. Uh, that'll be uh, at the ark, but we're working on that right now as well. Uh, someone here said murals with morals. <laughs> yeah, there you I go. I like that. Yes. We'll have to remember that. Yes. Murals with morals. I like yeah, that. That is excellent. Let's go back around through here, and we can give you, for those that joined us a little late, we'll give you a quick sneak look again at... Can I get through here? Uh, if you can set through the studs, you're welcome to go. So, you're, you're seeing through our new starting point. Oh, here we are. Look, area. we can come around here and we can see up there and see the. This is the new starting points area in here. That's right. And you get a different look at uh, those big columns and the entrance to the biblical authority area. So, on this wall that we're kind of peeking through, this is where we'll be uh, looking at a biblical worldview of ancient man. Um, of animal kinds, of the ape kind. Lucy will have her back in a new case, a new display. Uh, a lot of very vital exhibits and, in this and space. And we have some uh, incredible interaction with skulls too, right? That's right, yeah, yeah. Uh, guests will be able to see nine different skulls of ancient man and learn how they fit in a biblical worldview. Somebody said here, that would be amazing. My family has talked about working there and would love to be able to do so someday. Well, we hope you can too because we actually need more staff. Uh, the ministry has grown so much and so many people coming here, we actually need more staff uh, in this area. And people can find out about that on our website, the Answers in Genesis website, uh, or the Ark Encounter or the Creation Museum. Let's walk around, have a sneak look at some of this, uh, walk through biblical history again, and then uh, we'll uh, end the... Uh, you can go that way if you like, or this way. We'll go this way, yeah, through here. I didn't realize how big this space was when you opened it up. Yeah. And the other thing is, now with all the crowds coming, we needed to have wider passageways, and we need to have more of an open area. So they totally redesigned all of this. That was and a big objective. It, yeah. It's going to be amazing. Uh, so as we come around here, we'll do... Uh, this is, this is an area we didn't even see before, so let's have a sneak peek in here. So what is this one? Alex? So this point in biblical authority is our last kind of moment with guests before they transition into the relevant space. So in here, it's kind of our last words uh, that will set guests up as they go into relevance. So in here, we'll be concluding how the Bible has been, God's word has stood the test of time, and that will lead to modern day, how the Bible still stands the test of time. Um, you can see back up there, see the artist working on that wall there. That's a, that's a nice sort of view right there. Mm -hmm. Somebody said here, as an artist myself, I'm very impressed with everything being painted by hand. It looks great. Yeah, we have some very talented people. This um, archway here will create this first impression of relevance as they go in. They'll see that mural, first big view there. So the interesting thing is you have, have this beautiful work here and always painting and then suddenly you've got this broken archway. It's kind of this portal from biblical times into modern times. Into that old industrial building that, that's right. being reclaimed. Yes, right. So we're reclaiming the biblical foundation. Here's the biblical history and the truth of God's word and now we're going to go in there and say we need to reclaim that. For our day. In, in, yeah. For our day. In yeah. our churches. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Uh, and uh, reclaim it in people's lives and families. So we can look down here, maybe a slightly different view here. Of so, so this, this one represents again. This is, I believe, Greco-Roman time. And uh, all of these will receive a layer of distressing and aging after they're all done. The colors, they're very vibrant right now. And they will be more vibrant than people probably usually think about ancient things because none of that remains or hardly any of it. But, yeah, it will be knocked back with a layer of some washes to give it some age. Yeah, do the artists cringe when you do that? They do all this beautiful artwork, and then you go in there and you age it. Uh, it probably depends on the artist, but I love the character that a wash brings to something. And I love those uh, statues you have at the top there. Yeah, those are Atlas. Atlas holding up 
the fool. Yes. So one thing guests will notice throughout this space, we'll see different deities of different cultures. So we'll see from the time of Abraham, from the in Egyptian times, on and on. But the idea is that the true God, the biblical God, he has been victorious from culture to culture um, over all of those deities. And Here so they've come Egypt. and gone. They've but, come and but, gone. But the, but the true God... He remains. He remains. He's faithful, yeah. And, and going through all of these different aspects of history show you that. You know, yes. They kept, went to great heights, and they were, but they were rebelling it against God, and yeah. they had all their gods and so on. But what mm -hmm. happened to them? They're gone. Right, yeah. And now only, we only have remnants and reminders. Yeah, yeah. And sadly, you know, in our own culture, so many people have abandoned God's mm -hmm. word. So we need to reclaim it, which right. is what we're going to do in there in that old industrial building. We're going exactly. to be reclaiming the Word of God. Can, can you give us a quick uh, summary of just Absolutely. walking around the wall here? Yeah. We'll just so, do a quick pan around. I guess we'll transition as I come in here along, at least initially, along these outer walls. In each of these quadrants, you can see we've taped up three uh, well, rectangles and, and squares in these. Um, that central rectangle in each of these will be a monitor where we see a live actress or actor depicting a biblical character that we'll be meeting in that biblical culture. So here in, uh, or over there in Egypt, we'll meet Joseph. In Canaan, we'll meet Rahab, on and on and on. And then on either side of those monitors, flanking those, we'll have uh, some graphic signs that will explain who that character is, who it will explain the archaeological evidence of that culture or that character. For example, David, we, we read um, extra biblical ancient findings of the name David. So, so we're showing that the, the Bible is supported by archaeology that, that we find. And then the theme of, of each of these quadrants themselves will be a recreation of something from that time period and culture. So it'll be a very immersive experience uh, with a lot of really helpful content, strengthening our faith in the Bible. I can tell you're an artist type just by the terminology you <laughs> use, <laughs> which is really great. Well, there we are. Even, even the way you're doing this, uh, the ceiling up there. Yeah, our hope in biblical authority especially is that this can be a new standard for what we do at Answers in Genesis, that every single corner of this space, as far as we can control, will be immersive. Um, and so we've been so thoughtful about even ceilings, floors, uh, even things about how we're hiding speakers, what we have to do with air conditioning units and fire uh, sprinklers, how can we hide those things and make this as immersive, as immersive as possible? So what's this ceiling going to look like? So it's cracking? It's That's right, yeah. So several of the ceilings, or at least two of them, will have this cracking look. That circle up above, we're going to be hiding a speaker in there. So it won't look like that when, when, when we're done. But yeah. Yeah, a lot of historical research has gone into how to recreate each of these spaces. Well, there you are. Uh, opening uh, middle of November. Yes. And uh, it, it's amazing how much work has already been done. There's months and months and months of work. I mean, once the infrastructure is in, uh, you know, the walls and uh, that sort of thing, then they can bring over all the exhibits and start installing them. Yeah. And of course, they're well on the way getting all those murals mm -hmm. uh, done uh, there and uh, all sorts of other painting that they'll be doing yep. and videos they're producing. And this is going to be an astounding space. In fact, you know, as it is now, people say they need more than a day at the Creation Museum. Well, once this is open, <laughs> yeah, I think I think a lot of people are going to spend so much time in this first area. Then, then there's the whole rest of the museum. Right, so, right, yeah. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens. Well, there you are. There's a sneak preview. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we will uh, see you again some other time. Hey, go to ICanCanada.com, CreationMuseum.org. Have a look at our Christmas time, Christmas town programs. This will be open mid-November. Our Christmas programs start November 29. So come see the new exhibits and enjoy our Christmas programs. Let's do uh, that. That is a great idea for you, for the ARC and for the Creation Museum. And we'll talk to you all again later. Thanks, Alan. Thanks Thank for joining us this morning.